if the volume of your iPhone suddenly decreases on its own then let us see how to fix this issue now the first thing what you have to do is you have to remove the iPhone case if you are using if you have a silicone case which you have used for iPhone then remove it and check if this will fix the issue sometimes if the case is too tight then it might press the volume button that's why the volume is decreasing on its own now the other thing what you will do is you will go to settings you will go to sound and haptics make sure to make this volume full so make sure to make this volume full and also disable this option change with buttons so once you do it if you are accidentally pressing the volume down button or if the iPhone case is pressing the volume down button then the volume will not be affected since we have disabled the settings for changing the volume of iPhone with the volume button also sometimes this might be caused because of the Facebook application so what you do is go to Facebook application tap on the menu option go to settings and privacy go to settings and scroll down there is an option here sounds open it and disable this option in app sound so many users have commented that by disabling this option in facebook has removed the issue now sometimes this issue might be caused because of an application you have installed in your iphone generally the applications which are video call applications it might have caused the issue so if you remember that you have installed a certain application and this issue started to occur after you install this application delete the application now if you are not sure which application you install at last then what you do open app store tap on this profile icon here go to purchased go to my purchases and here you will see the applications which you have installed in your iphone so the last application which i had installed was proton vpn and it was installed on 5th july so with this you will be able to know what was the last application you had installed try on installing those applications and check if this will fix the issue now this might also occur because of a software glitch in that case what you need to check is check if there is an update of the ios software available for your iphone so for that one what you will do we will go to settings again we will go to general software update let iphone check if there is any update available for me i have already installed the latest version of ios if there is update pending for you just install the update so sometimes this kind of error will be fixed by the update thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free